Hi, I'm Michelle and this is Bumbleberry Stitches. And thank you so much for joining me today. Um, this is a channel, for those who don't know what Floss Tube is, this is a channel all about cross stitch and some quilting and embroidery and other stitching things kind of thrown in. Um, this, like I said, I don't know if I said it already, but this is Floss Tube number one. I had at one point had some videos down and about a year and a half I took them down. And so, yeah, I'm back. I, you know, when I took them down, I didn't think that I'd be coming back, but here I am. And uh, so for those of you who are still subscribed to my channel, oh my gosh, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. I, I just expected to lose everyone. And I think I lost like 10 people, possibly. Possibly, maybe five, I don't know. I'm not, I can't remember exactly where I was at, but I was in the 80s. <laughs> I think I'm in the 70s now. So, um, but maybe they'll come back. Maybe when they come back and they see that um, I'm doing videos again, they will come back and join me. But um, for those of you who stuck with me, you guys are, uh, like I said, you guys are so, so awesome. Um, it's just been a really hard um, run because I, I used to live in Colorado for those who remember me and then those who don't know me. So I'll just kind of like run really quick through, you know, who I am. Um, I'm originally from Oklahoma. I lived in Oklahoma, in Colorado and that's where I started the Plus Two channel when I was there. And then I got a divorce um, almost, almost two years ago. It's been like, I don't know, we're getting on it. We're getting on it. So I moved back here in December of um, 21. Yeah. Yeah, 21. And um, yeah, it just feels like it's been forever, but it doesn't feel like it's been forever. It's really kind of strange. Um, I took the videos down because I just, I mentally just, I wasn't ready. And I just didn't think that I would come back to it because I was just so, uh, the marriage was so, it was not good, y'all. But, um, God has just done such a wonderful and miraculous work in me. And like I said, I wasn't gonna come back and do the videos, but I, he has pressed upon me that he wants me to do these videos. And he kind of let me know around the first of the year, end of last year, on like December 31st, January 1st, January 2nd. And it's taken me this long to get the videos out because I'm just, I've done some videos and um, I've deleted them. <laughs> so if this one makes it up, you're watching this, then you know it's made it up. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the videos. I'm gonna be obedient and, and do the videos and know that whatever he's got planned for me, um, it's gonna be good. And um, yeah, and I think you guys all remembered me um, by the name Teresa, and that is my name. But um, since the divorce and you know dealing with self-image issues and and things like that, um, you know, I'm I'm gonna go by my middle name Michelle. So so yes. So if, if you remember me by a different name, you're not crazy. <laughs> My name wasn't always, well, my name is Michelle, but it's my middle name, so I'm gonna go by that. And, um, and it's, it's, it's good, because you know, he had me look it up, because I had never looked up my, my, the meanings of my name, but I looked it up and um, it means image of God. So that's what I've been struggling with since most of my life, and then you know, really, really hard after the divorce, so, so. And it's fine, because I always wanted to go by Michelle anyway, so I wasn't too reluctant when God asked me to do that. So so here I am, a um, whole new me. <laughs> At least I feel, I feel a whole new me. I feel so good. I feel much better than I have in years. It's interesting because I don't think that I've ever felt this good my whole life. So I, I just know God's done a really great work in me and he wants me to do plus two videos and um so <laughs> here i go i'm gonna do a plus two video 
and hopefully more to come after this one. And like I said, anybody who was following me before that unfollowed because they saw I took down my videos, uh, maybe they'll come back when they start seeing, you know, more videos, you know, pop up and that kind of thing. So, so anyway, that's me. And uh, let's see, I made a list here so I can keep track and I, my table's a little wobbly, so the camera may move every so often. I'm really sorry. But, Let's go into, uh, tell you a little bit more about my cross stitch journey. I started cross stitching when, um, I think it was close to 21. I've always, I, I'm just a real slow mover. I mean, I can be spontaneous, but I'm just like, I don't know. It takes me a while to, to, to get into things. I, I research it, I, I collect, I do all the things and then I jump in. And so, when I was 19, I came across a cross stitch magazine, cross stitch country, say country cross stitch and crafts or something like that. And I, I just, I, I, it was the Christmas stockings, if I remember right, I saw, and I just absolutely fell in love with it, but I, I just didn't think it was something I could do because it looked so hard. I thought, you know, can I do that? And so I collect the magazines and then, and it was somewhere around 19 or 20, I started doing that and then one day I just said, you know what, let's get us, because I had been to Joann's and I saw they had those, you know, those little round um, cross stitch kits that would like have like balloons on it or something like that. I think the one I had had elephants with balloons. And so I got that, I cross stitched it and I absolutely loved it. And then I just, yeah, I just been cross stitching ever since. Um, but never quite to the to the way I've been doing it the last five years once I discovered floss tube, because I think it was like five years ago. Um, Pumpkin Hollow Quilts was just getting started on floss tube and she had done her first video and I followed her on Instagram and she um, said, come and watch my video. And I'm like, okay, I'll come watch, but you know, what the heck is a floss tube? So I go and watch it and I'm like, oh my God, this is something I gotta do. <laughs> and so it's just been a back and forth journey because yeah, my, my self image issues. So, um, so yeah, so that's how I got started cross stitching and that's how I got into floss tube and aware of floss tube and the realization that you can have more than one project going at a time <laughs> and you can have like 20 whips, 50 whips, 100 whips, whatever, you know, so yeah, I've been working on that. So I'm not quite up to, I might be up to 20. I might be up to 20 now, I'm not sure. I haven't counted. I don't know, maybe I should count them. I don't know. Anyway, so, and my style of cross stitching. Okay, um, I do like primitive designs, I do. But I don't know, I'm kind of, um, I don't know what you would call this, kind of whimsical, you know, a little bit bright. I do like that as well. So I, I kind of stitch whatever I like, but there's just, there is a color palette that I do kind of stick with. I, and I've noticed this because every time I'm pulling um, um, threads for uh, projects and stuff, I'm always needing the same threads. So I'm thinking, I'm, I'm just picking projects, I guess, based on color first and then maybe design after, or maybe I'm just lucky that the color and the design are just, you know, going together so wonderfully that um, it just happens that way. So I do do some primitive, I do like some whimsical, I love, um, I love medieval, um, Celtic designs and things like that, dragons. Um, but I do love salt box, houses, salt box houses, and I think that's the reason why I'm probably pulled to a little bit of the primitive. But I think my primitive is more of a Plum Street sampler. I have a lot of her things. Um, Paulette is just so great, and I, I'm just a big fan. And um, Jeanette Douglas, I totally, totally love them. But then I've also been getting into um, scripture stitching, as of recently, you know. Because I, um, since, especially since my divorce and just, you know, looking to God and relying to God, I've, I've gotten, you know, more, more um, obedient, I guess. I don't want to say I got more religious. Um, I've just gotten more obedient. I've always been aware of God. But, um, but it's drawn me to more um, uh, scriptural stitching is what I, I, I would call it. 
Um, but some of the floss tubers that I follow that, you know, that you're probably aware of if you're not new, if you're not new to floss tube and you, you know, you know these people, um, Country Stitchers, Stitch and Mommy, and Teresa Little Stitcher. Um, I would say those are my top three, and I probably have like 50, but those are my top three. Um, and the Stitch and Mommy, um, I followed her for a while now, and I think her, the what her style of stitching, a lot of things that she does, is really close to what I, projects I pick, and she's enabled me quite a bit actually in buying things. <laughs> and then um, Country Stitchers right after that. Um, you know, the country primitive kind of look because I think they do a lot of that. And then Teresa the Stitcher, just, I just like her. Oh my goodness. I just like her personality. I just, I like to listen to her talk. I, I just like Teresa the Stitcher. She's just a favorite. And then um, a few other ones that I, I always watch when um, they upload a new video uh, is uh, What's Morgan Stitching? She used to go by a different name and I can't remember now, but uh, I'm looking in the thing and like making clothes. Okay, I gotta stop. I have to stop. Okay. Um, she used to have a different name, but I think she's going by What's Morgan Stitching now. And then uh, salt, box stick, st salt Box Stitcher. I, I just like her. I, she just, she holds my attention for a whole hour hour and a half I, it don't matter how long she's she, I just I really enjoy watching her and stitching by the shore snug harbor crafts and stitching by the legs so those are some um, floss tubers that I think share um, my interest in, in a lot kind of that variety that, that kind of goes in there so so okay so um, let's see what I should do now is uh, show you, like I said, I'm just now getting back into the videos and I'm not very, um, I don't feel like I'm very, <laughs> I don't know, professional. I mean, I just, the flow. I, I gotta get used to the flow, I guess. The three, I, I got three projects that I'm mainly rotating right now that I'm working on. And then I have some that I've worked on in the last six months and that I'm gonna take to Stitch West with me because Yay, I'm going to Stitch West, and I think that's like in a couple weeks, so I'm really excited about that. So, but the first, my, the first, my only finish is, um, is this scriptural, like I say, scriptural stitching. It's by Sweet Wing Studio called Blessed Is She, and this is like my favorite, my favorite verse. And it's Bless, Blessed Is She Who Believed. So, and, uh, show you I stitched this I think it took me like when I finally really got going I started it I actually started it when I was in um, New York in the Catskills I had went there for a concert and um, I did and I'll talk about that a little bit later but I started it and then I came home and I think I finished it like in three days so and that is it right there it's on 32 count um, Welchit. You know, I wrote everything down except for that. All <laughs> I am so together. Um, yeah. So it's 32 count Ivory Welchit, which I think is Swigart. Okay. So now we'll just get into the whips. And I think how I wrote this down here to follow along is we'll do the whip, my whips, and then I'll show you some haul. And that will lead into um, what I'm taking or st with me to start at Stitch West. And one of them may start before Stitch West. I may start like next week. But um, because some of the stuff I bought is part of my haul that I'm taking because well, I'll explain it as I go through. So. Anyway, so let's see. Okay, we'll do this one first. Okay, so this is, um, I'm sure you guys are familiar with some of these. If not, you're gonna learn some. So, um, Adam names the animals, Plum Street Sampler. Like I said, I have a lot of Plum Street. And there's so much more. I don't. I have a lot, meaning I don't have every single thing, but I have more than I should. 
<laughs> and um, I'm really hoping to be able to get more. So, <laughs> and this one, this one was really special to me. I started this at Stitch West last year. So that was October um, 22. And it, I started because it was getting close to in the year. And it had been a year almost since things, well, I, that's not when things started. You know, that would be kind of an exaggeration, I guess, to say. But in 2021, before the divorce, I had, God had given me a dream and told me that um, I was going to go on this Genesis journey. And I just at the time thought it was like, I'm going to have new beginnings. And he showed me that my husband and I were going to divorce. I know this is going to rock a few Christians because they don't believe that, you know, God separates people. And so, you know, whatever. Um, God knows what's coming. He knows what's happening. And he sometimes will warn you. It's not because he wanted it. It's because he knows it's going to happen and because he knows the heart and the actions of the other person and so he knows what's coming and he warned you and I was warned and he told me I was going to go on a Genesis journey so I thought it meant at the time I thought it meant it was like new beginnings you know starting over that kind of thing you know kind of like because you know in Genesis it was the creation of the world and so um that's why I bought this was in you know to think about that and how you know God is in charge and created everything but what I found over the last year and a half that it was it was so much more it was it was a whole journey of learning my my identity in in, in Christ and, and and who I was and how we're created in the image of God and so that just makes to me this pattern so more special to me because you know he names the animals he gave every single one of us a name you know so so anyway i'm going to be taking this with me to stitch west so because like i like i said i started it last year there and i've worked on it some since but not like a lot that it's almost finished so at some point i'll get it done <laughs> but I thought it would just be good since I'm not done with it that I should take it back with me because it's where I started it, if that makes sense. So, and that is as far as I've gotten. When I was at Stitch West, I think I got this line and then this, the, some of the leaves started and I was starting to branch out. I didn't get the, because I think it was a skunk. No, I think it's a turtle. Yes, yeah, a turtle. I didn't get any of the animals. I've done all of this since, since then, but not as of recently, of course, but, um, but after I came back. So, so just to show you, yeah. And I always leave my threads hanging on. I need to get one of those little things I've seen people have, like it's like a little folded, um, can be talking with my hands. Um, there's this, like this little folded notebook or something that has felt police or something like that in it and um it's really hold their little threads i should try to get one of those but anyway i always keep them on there like i was getting ready to say until i go to put it away like i know i'm not going to work on it for like a year i'm just going to put it away i'm done with it for like really long long time and then i'll make sure i've done something with all my little threads because what i found when i do that i come back i i don't i don't know i just i don't want them so that's what I do. So let's see. So I'm, I'm not halfway even through, you know, you know, you think about it. It's, it's kind of like right there. So I'm not even all the way through it. So I still got a ways to go. So I'm going to take this with me, just like I said, to Stitch West. And um, I think I need to fold it a different way. And in case you're wondering what this is, that's just like, it's like lock, locker tape because of my, um, the type of uh, um, frame system that I use, and I'll show you some of the frames because I left some of my um, my uh, um, projects on the frame still. Yeah, and here's all the colors. 
It's not a lot of colors, really. You know, you think about it, it's not. Yeah, so it's not really like a lot, but anyway, there's that. And then the next project that I'm going to take, because I'm going to take, I think, three or four projects with me. I may not work on all of them. I know I'm going to work on, on um, the Adam Names the Animals and this one here. But, and I'm going to start another one while I'm there. But I may not do much with it other than just start it. And then I want to take another one or two in case I get bored, you know, because that's what happened last year is I t only took like two or three and I was like, I don't know. I did more talking than I... I did stitching and I got bored. I was like, ah, oh, I wish I brought something different. So, and that's what I did, so. But you know, when you, it was my first away treat like that. I'd never done one before. So I didn't really know what to plan for, so. But now I know, I'm, I've done, you know, it's one of those things you do it once and you know, you're all ready the second time. All right, this one is called Seaworthy by Teresa Kogut. And this was the project for um, for the uh, Stitch West 22. And I think she released it this year to everyone, so you should be able to get this pattern now. Anyway, it's called Sea Worthy. I will not be stitching the mermaid. I'm gonna put something in the place of it. So there is a mermaid in this project, and um, like I said, I'll have a picture, but I'll just show you what I've done. This is really, really pretty. And this was a kit. It came with all the threads. And, uh, yeah, let me see. And I think that's in the, I just wrote them on the back side, but let me see. Oh yeah, here we go. This one, this was the little um, thing that came with it. It had like a little, had that on it. And I had a needle minder, but mine had a mermaid on it. So I, I didn't, I didn't keep it. I gave that away. I just don't do mermaids. They're evil. So I know it's not something that just recently happened. I've been I've been stitching that way for a long time. I don't stitch Halloween and things like that too. But anyway, but it came with these little thread keepers and I, I kept all the ones that didn't have the mermaid on it. And then I but anyway, this is all the threads that came with it. And I don't remember a whole lot about it because I don't know where my I got my pattern sitting over there. I forgot to bring it over here with me. So but Sorry. <laughs> My kitty's calling at me. Every five minutes is it's time for treats. She's letting me know. I don't know if you heard her, but she's letting me know it's time for treats. So anyway, I'm gonna take that to Stitch West because like I said, that was another one that I, I started that one there. So I started two projects there. And, and the same thing's probably gonna happen again because I have the one that I'm gonna take with me um, for uh, starting and then there's a designer. There's always, a, at these retreats, there's always a designer uh, pattern, but I don't know if it's gonna be in kit form. So if it's in kit form, and usually it is, but if it isn't, then I won't be starting it. But if it is in kit form, then I will be, so. So, okay, so let's just look at some projects that I've worked on recently and yeah I have like four yeah four that I'm like working on recently aside from the one I just finished so Alrighty then. Um, yeah. this one is electric guitar and I picked this one because I love the paint splashes it's, it's artistic and I'll tell you why <laughs> okay um, I had, like I said earlier, I went to um, New York and I stayed in the Catskills. We went, I went, not we, it was just me. Um, I went to a concert at the Bethel Woods um, Center for the Arts, yeah, Toy Space, we know what it was, um, Hollywood Vampires. Yeah, and I won't get into why I was there, but. Um, this I thought would be totally perfect because um, it's guitars and there was quite a few guitars on stage. There was, there was more than their share of guitar players on stage. And um, even Alice Cooper, um, you know, could play the guitar. And then um, paint splashes because, you know, 
some people are artists. So I just thought that was really, really fun. And then, um, and I got this big old piece of fabric and I did not cut it down before I got there. So, and I'm regretting that actually, because I don't, this is 40 count and I don't need, cause I think this one, um, the design side, it calls for 14 count. And I know sometimes 14 count is equivalent to like an upper, an upper count, but I'm not sure off the top of my head. You guys probably know better than me, um, but I don't know. So I, I don't need this big old piece of fabric for it because you can see right here is just the beginning of the guitar piece. So see, that's just that piece right there. So I don't need this big old piece. And so I'm hoping that I'm not wasting, when I get down to the actual piece, I'm not wasting too much on the sides because I love this fabric. I can't remember the name of it, but you know what? Maybe I'll try to add it all down there. Maybe, let me look and see. Let me look and see if I was really smart enough to write that down. I don't think I was. I don't think I was smart enough to write it down. And I would, it's on my camera, on my phone, not on my camera, but it's on my phone. I have it written down on my phone. Shouldn't point at the camera, that's not good. Um, okay. Um, I, I don't want to mess, I don't want to stop the video and then pull it all up and go through. It, it, it took me a lot just to get here to do the video. <laughs> I don't want to have to stop it and then come back to it again. But anyway, it's all DMC threads. So, there we go. And that was my little piece. I tried to find, um, a thread keeper or you know for that matched it with this and I couldn't find anything so um, but I found this one from my big toe I tend to get a lot of them from her so it has like a little shield isn't it great yeah so she'll look great then this is the, this is the needle minder that came with it so it's adorable isn't it pretty so like I said, it doesn't matter. I did find a needle minder though that was a guitar pick with roses on it. That was really great. But I'm using this, so. But I couldn't find anything for that. But anyway, I'm trying to remember what they, I want to say this is Picture of This Plus. I really do. I, I, that, that's that's what I want to say. And you'll see it there. Let me see if I can get it closer up. You can see, but not too close. you can get a kind of good idea what the fabric looks like and to me it's looking gray on the screen yeah but it's not I mean it is gray but it's like there's like green in here and um, blues along with the, it's just beautiful this is this is like one of my favorite fabrics so I'm so glad I picked it and um, I'm just hoping I didn't I wish I would have just, I bought it like the day before I left. I was just running out the door. So I wish I would have took more time to put it together so that way I could have utilized the fabric better. So I'm, like I said, I'm hoping I just don't have enough on the sides wasted. And if you know, if you've done that, you know what I'm talking about. When you start your project in the center, because normally I started up in, see I'm talking with my hands again. Um, normally I started up in the corner uh, of the project so I would start like you know like on the sides and I tend to be I tend to be a stitcher who starts on the left and works to the right but um, you know you, you got this guitar you know standing straight up you can't start in the corners you have to start in it's one of those places you have to start in the center so I don't know. Oh, I got a feeling I'm not gonna want to I'm just gonna want to upload this video and just like be done with it because I'm not going to want to have to like look at myself. <laughs> so I don't know. Anyway, I got some stuff in there. So anyway, um, the other one I've been working on is Cinderella. It's a Mirabilia. And I tell you, I love my Mirabilias. I've um, already stitched two queens and uh, I lost one. Yeah. And the other one I don't have. So I'm like, okay, so I'm stitching Winter Queen because I lost her. I finished her and 
I mentioned this on Instagram, can't find her. It's, I'm just devastated. I'm telling you, I'm devastated. I cannot find, I have no idea where it went. And if it ended up in a, a box to the thrift store, I, I hope whoever got her really truly appreciates the work. So, but you never know. Um, and then the other one I gave to my mother, but I've never seen it hang. I, I don't think she's hanging it up. So I don't even know if she still has it. I mean, I don't know. And it's one of the situations I am not gonna ask. Cause then I don't have to get upset, you know? So anyway, so I'll be stitching those two again after <laughs> I do Cinderella. Cinderella is just gorgeous. She's gonna be so pretty. So, and I like this version of Cinderella way better than a Disney. I'm telling you, I do. And this is 32 count, I do know. And I don't remember, once again, I don't remember, this is a needle minder that I'm using. And this is Cynthia Crane's Pottery on Etsy. She, uh, yeah, she makes this pottery, paints them, kilns them, whatever. She does all the things. And I don't know why mine's coming off, so let me see if I can get it back on here. There we go. And I have all my, I have all my, um, my beads too for her. I love that. I know it's noisy guys, but I got all that. And then I got all my, my chronic for it. So it's all ready to go. And like I said, see, I start in the corners and I like projects that are like that. Where I can just start in the corner and I start, always start from left to right. So that's what I was saying earlier. And uh, it doesn't look like a lot, but I tell you, it takes a while to work across the front. It takes longer than you think. You think, oh, that's no big deal. It's like, it's like you know, four rows all the way over. It's mindless, but not really because you have to count because if you don't get, a, you miss a stitch across the top, yeah, it's really bad for the side. So so it's mindless, but it's not mindless. It's, it's not as easy as you think. And it's more tedious than you would think so. But, and it takes longer than you think. So that's what I've got done. I don't know if I can get it closer. There we go. Like I said, I don't know what the light is looking like there, what it's actually doing until after I add it, but then I don't know if I'll add it because <laughs> uh, I don't want to look at myself. It'll be another video. I don't know, maybe I'll hand it to my son and tell him to do it because uh, we both have the same editing program in our computers, so maybe I can convince him that he needs to do it and tell him don't say a word about what you see. <laughs> so anyway, all right, now, things are like, you gotta put some behind it because it's like see-through. Anyway, that's the pattern. It is just beautiful. I, I love all the colors. It came with this too, to do a bookmarker. I don't know about you guys, but it just feels kind of, I don't know, like I might have to like hold this in my hand to stitch on it, because I, I frame everything, so I don't know how to do that. Um, so there's where I'm at. <laughs> I told you I was a slow stitcher, I'm always behind. So, but yeah, see, I'm still in this little section right here. It's, it's, it's full coverage in this section too. There's no empty spaces. So it's gonna take me just a little bit to get there. And I know once I get over into this area, for me, I know the way I stitch, that it'll go fast until I get down to her. And then, and down here, it'll, well, of course it'll slow down again. But, um, but yeah. And this came as a kit and it was dyed and everything, and I didn't see. I don't think I told you who it was. It was a stitching book club, but um, Sapphire Mountain Quilt, Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts, is the name of the company, and they're on Etsy. And the designer is Kristen Ashley, and what she does is that, um, like three or four times a year, depending on what's going on in her life, 
she will put together um, a cross stitch project along with a reading session. So that's why it's called the Stitching Book Club. I, I think I failed to tell you that in the beginning. And um, so you read the chapters along while stitching. So I'm behind in the book and I'm behind in stitching, so it's all even. So, <laughs> but I'll get caught up. I will. So let's put that over there. So okay, so that and I might take that one to Stitch West since I'm so behind on it. But I, like I said, I don't know. I think it's going to depend on what I can get done um, throughout the week. What's the matter, baby? Starla, my cat. She's coming down. I'm hoping she doesn't jump up here, but she might. So. Come on, baby. Starla, what's the matter? You want snacks? Huh? You can't have any. You just had snacks. You know that? You just had snacks. You're, you're done. You were done. All right. The next one is an oldie. Oldie by the Getty. Um, Isaiah 40, 31. And that's the scripture. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. I like the fact that this one has the full verse. A lot of times there's just usually a shortened verse of it. But this is an older one. Uh, Donna Vermillion Gampa. And its copyright is 1994, so that's how old it is two years before my son was even born. Now I have the fabric name for this one. This is 32 Count Swigart Belfast called Marble Bunny. And I think it says in design. She was on Etsy and this has been a while ago. So I don't know, I didn't look before the video to see if she's still on Etsy. But yeah, this is the scrap piece. Isn't it just beautiful? So. I'll be able to, I cut this one right, so I'll be able to do something with this one. So I love it having little extra pieces like that. But this is just a short little, short little start. This will not go with me to Stitch West. It will be staying here. Oh, and you know, when I was talking earlier about my frames, this is why it has the sticky on there. So it just, see that it's, it's Velcroed. So that's how it holds on. I want to say this is American Frames. I'm not sure. I can get the name for it if you guys are interested. But anyway, that's my star. It's just one wing. One little wing. I think it's, it's the second wing right there. You got the first one, you got the second one. So it's the second one. I don't think this is going to take me long. I don't think this is going to take long at all. I think the hardest part is that there's just a lot of color changes. Oh because there is like a mountain of colors. It was ridiculous, the amount of colors. Where's it at? Right here. Look at this, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. So it's not like it's a really difficult, hard design. There's just a lot of um, quarter stitches. And I think it's, yeah, I think it's quarter stitches. Yeah. That's what I call them. Like half stitches, but they're, they're like a quarter. But you got a slash and a little half, and then all the color changes. And that's what you get into when you start doing a lot of those older patterns, I'm telling you, because they were like in the 90s, they were big about that. It's like all the designers were doing it. It's crazy. So I don't try to start too many of them at one time because it's like even even though the thread is like what 53 cents if you go to Hobby Lobby you still walk out of there spending 30 bucks you know for, for thread because you need so much just to get a little section so crazy Let's see now okay so now we will just we'll go into haul now because that that's it that's that's all I've been working on for right now okay so yeah. I've been crazy on my on my haul but this is haul I think I've been stash and holding and buying since probably May or April of this year. So it's not like I, you know, you know, spurge. I can't afford to, you know, because I live, I live in, 
within like 15, 20 minutes of the silver needle. And uh, anybody who's been to silver needle, they, they know that's just a fabulous cross stitch store. And for me, it's it's become the $150 store. <laughs> you know, you have the dollar store. <laughs> silver needle is the $150 store. I just can't go in there. And it's like, I don't have 150 bucks to spend, so I can't go. <laughs> I just can't go. So, but anyway. So I've been buying um, needle minders and thread keepers like crazy. I don't know, I just got on the roll. These come from the Badge Shack UK, and they did come from England. And I'll tell you, it didn't take that long to get here. I've had some things like, I have, I have a, a needle minder now that I've been waiting all month for coming from um, Germany. And it's still sitting in New York somewhere. I don't know what's going on. I mean. I could have picked it up while I was there. No, I didn't order it till September. But um, but yeah, it's still sitting in in New York. I'm like, what's going on? It's been three weeks now. So, but anyway, like I said, I like you know, I like driving. So I think you can see that. That's not to me. It's looking a little blurry, but maybe it's my eyes. So. That one, I love that one. It's so great. I love dragons as long as they don't have like the magical crap attached to it. You know, as long as that's not attached to them, I'm all good. Cause, you know, I think the Bible speaks of um, dragons, and I believe that dragons existed. I just don't think we should be, you know, turning everything to the opposite side of what God created. But this is the other one. The bumblebee. I love all things. I don't. I don't love all things bumblebee, but there are a lot of bumblebee things I see, and I'm like, ooh, I gotta have that one. So I got those two, and this shop is on Etsy. I don't know if I held it long enough. Did you see that? The bad. She's got some really great things on there. And then I have. I can't see from over here, but I added to my um, stash. Of needle minders from Cynthia Crane. I, I do, I, I at this point you can say I'm a collector. I'm a collector of her needle minders because I probably have 10, you know, and I think 10 is a good safe number to say you're a collector at that point. And I think I'm getting close to it. If I'm not at 10, I'm, I'm, I'm not far away. So this is my newest one. And uh, she, she, uh, she uploads those, she, she lists these as she makes them. So you could probably go to her shop and maybe not see any there. So you have to follow her on Instagram and she lets you know on there when she's, when she's ready to list things. And she lists other things besides needle minders. She does all kinds of pottery, teapots, um, buttons, just all kinds of things that she does with her pottery. Okay, and these, three came from uh, okay these come from white tank mountain designs on Etsy strawberry I love strawberries I've always have ever since I was a little girl and I'm not talking about just eating them I'm talking about like pictures of them you know I don't know what it is about the strawberry but I just I used to have a swimsuit when I was a little girl that uh, was like, it's like a two piece with a ruffle. It looked like jean material, but it wasn't jean material. And it had the little flower that you, you have that turns from, it goes from a flower to a strawberry. And then um, little strawberries on it. Oh my gosh, I wore that with everything. <laughs> Underneath my clothes. <laughs> it was my favorite. It was totally my favorite. And um, so yeah, I just, I adore strawberries. I just. I, can't explain it. It's just a thing. It's 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 a thing. That's all I'm gonna say. All right. So I had to have that. I'm gonna talk too long about that, but that's that's just what it is. And then um, I got this one. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see that. I think that's a flag. Yeah. There we go. I don't know if that's. I don't know if that helps you any. Because to me, I'm looking at it and it looks blurry, but I can't tell it may not be blurry because I have a lazy eye and I don't see crap out of this eye half the time. So, 
The only reason why I wear the glasses is so I can see out of the other one. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be blind as a bat. All right. I think somebody else said that once. All right. I gotta quit using that phrase. All right. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Isn't that cute? Look at that. I'm trying to get that to show, but I don't. Th I don't think the board's helping it any. Star, star. She just walking around crying. She just wants more snacks. What? Mama, you gonna come up here and say hi? You wanna say hi? You say hi. Say hi. <laughs> there she is. She's gonna shake the table. You better leave my coffee alone. That's hard to do. Okay, so I got a zipper pull, and um, I need a miter set to go with it. It's a bee and sunflower. This comes from my big toe on Etsy. And here's the other one, another bee one from my big toe on Etsy. I get a lot of them from my big toe. You gonna come over and say hi again? Yeah. See, she's right there. You weren't high enough. They couldn't see you. Yeah. No, don't show them your butt. They don't want to see your butt. They don't want to see your face. Here she is. He's my baby. My baby. Mm. I'm going to let you get down. All right. All right. This one is from Socks from Mum. Like uh, M U M, the way the Brits would say it. Socks from them. And um, I have a thing for ships too. So, there's that one. I just love it. But not all ships, just certain kinds. Um, kind of pirate ones. Always been that way. There isn't those little girl over there. But anyway, this one's called the thread. Um, needle worker. So, so yeah, I so, And then here's the other one. This one's so cute. Pumpkin in a wagon. I like this because it's fallish, but it leaves out the whole witchy Halloween thing. So, which I do not do. That's, those are, that's for sure. I, I've never, as a kid, and when my boys were little, we never went into the dark side of Halloween. So, this is um, something I got when I went to um, Pearl Harbor in Honolulu. Um, I got it at the gift shop, and I just thought I'd show you guys, because I thought this was such a really great idea. Because they're like, I mean, look how small they are. See? And they're magnetic, and the refrigerator, refrigerator, fridge, refrigerator magnets. And since a lot of the magnets I get from Cynthia Cranes has this on there, you know, see how it just kind of hangs on there. Um, I thought it would just be perfect to take that, or you know, maybe the back of another one, like right here, and then you could use that as a needle minder. And so I got the whole pack, and I think it was like eight or nine dollars. It really wasn't that bad. And they got all of these um, World War II um, pictures of women, because it's women of World War II. And I just thought, how great would that be to use those as needle minders for some of my projects? Let's see if they don't fall out. I mean, don't you think that's a great idea? I mean, I don't know if somebody else has come up with that idea already, but I thought of it and I thought it was really great. And then there's these um, stores all over Honolulu. And I don't know if they're like all over Hawaii, but I know they're all over Honolulu. And I can't remember the name of them, but they're like on every corner. And from what someone was saying, they're owned by one family. And 
they got just all kinds of, it's kind of like a convenience store without, without the gas, you know, because they sit like inside plazas, they sit on street corners and things like that. And they had all these little magnets in there. And I thought, see, now look at the back of that. See how it's got the magnet kind of embedded in there. And I thought these would be perfect and perfect size for needle makers. I mean, cause look, in comparison, it's the same size, see? You just attach it and then there you go. Need a minder. So, so I got the little agua turtle. I just thought it was so cute. And then I got a flip flop. And I bought this when I was, um, you know, see it says Hawaii. Um, when I go out to visit my son um, who lives in Hawaii, I got those on Waikiki. I just noticed something, hold on. Try to figure out. Okay. All right, I thought I had this all separated, but I guess I didn't, I had this added. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you, I got you guys confused for a minute, but I confused myself. Um, so those are all the little duhas, little notions that I have bought. And then I'll get into the patterns and hopefully this will go a whole lot quicker. I'm a talker, you know, sometimes, but, um, so I got all of this at the Silver Needle, which is, like I said, a dangerous store. It's the $150 store, but I didn't get them all in one setting. I want you guys to know this. I've, I've kind of like, I go in there, I get some threads, I pick up a couple patterns, and then I go in and get some fabric, and then I pick up a couple more patterns, you know, it, you know how it goes. So this is what I got. I went in there looking for this pattern and she didn't have it. So I ended up going back onto um, the, the Etsy shop and getting it there. So, but I ended up picking up this one anyway. So, but she had another one I wanted, which was um, Peach, Tree, Peach Tree Park Sampler by Sweet Wing Studio. I really love her things. They're so sweet. Um, Nutcracker by La Dida. I like that name, La Dida. So cute. And then Awaken My Soul, um, La Dida. It's another scriptural um, one. And um, I think that's Fracture. Fracture Flowers. Gorgeous, La Dida. This is my idea of prim, guys. This, this is this is how it gets right there and I'm not even maybe even call that prim I don't even know what that is maybe it's French or something I don't know what you call it but I just love it it's just beautiful and then uh, Memorial Day hands-on design you move my fingers you can see and then uh, I gotta quit smacking um, <laughs> every opening flower by Brenda Gervais which is uh, by Needle and Thread with a needle thread. And yeah, I was attracted to this one because I, I can't, these are these are my colors right here. These are my colors. I just, yeah, I just, oh. Threads, color, I just, I love color. I just, I don't know. I think that's why I have, I have paints, I have pencils, I have markers, I have threads, I have fabric. I am just in love with color. So yeah, these are our colors and then who can resist the bee? And then of course you got the salt ball cows and, and the birds, just Brenda Jarvay, she just does, her designs are so beautiful. And then um, Mercy Good Heart Sampler by Shakespeare Peddler, which we all know is, um, Teresa Bennett, kitten stitcher. And you know what, this is, I would never have gotten this if I had just seen this in the package. Um, somebody had stitched this up, the shop had stitched up on the wall and I was like, who is that? And they took me over and got it and I'm like, okay, last minute, add it to there as if I wasn't spending enough money already, just add that on. So, um, so yeah, so I got that. And this is all, um, like I said, I got it with the silver needle. And 
This one I got, these two I got at Annabelle's on Etsy. And looking at here, she's got, um, looks like she's got a, she's got a floss tube channel as well. I haven't, I haven't checked it out. And um, looks like she's got a Facebook group too. So I have to check those things out. But anyway, there's that. Maybe you might want to check those out yourself um, if you haven't already. Um, this is Charlotte Bridger 1843 by my, by who I call my little Insta friend on Instagram, Robin from Little Robin Designs. She is a darling, she is such a darling lady. I, I really like her a lot. And uh, Cherry Hill Stitchery. I got this one. Now this was a downloadable on her, her shop and it's an autumn bush. I thought maybe I might start that in, in November. I don't know. I'm thinking so. So I went ahead and printed it out. Otherwise I just left it in my thing. And then, okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And these last ones I got from Jen's Stitching Niche. And I failed to tell you, but some of these were just released at the last stitching, um, the Stitcher's uh, Needlework Market. Not needle, not the one in, in, in uh, Tennessee that comes out in March, but the one that's online, and I forget what they call it, but there's some that were released there, and I don't remember which ones were and which one weren't because it was one of those situations where I saw it released, I went and looked, and then I got some other things too because that happens a lot. Um, this one, Plum Street. I don't, now this is, I don't think this is a new one. This is one I've been wanting for a while. Plum Street Samplers, The Beekeeper, of course, like I said. Uh, and is it that? See, this is more idea prim, but maybe it's more like country. I don't know. But oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I, I, I'm going to have to start that one soon. I don't know. I love that one so much. Um, I think the rest of these are Brenda Jarvet because it was a Brenda Jarvet moment for um, this time around. Because what sparked it was like, yeah, there was the new designs that came out and then I just had to add more stuff to it. And so like I said, I don't know, I don't remember. Maybe you guys know better than me, I don't know. Um, a Girl in Her Garden by Brenda Jarvet. And notice there's strawberries. Yeah, just can't help it. And I love this blue this blue top. I may have to do it exactly the way she she has hers done because I oh, I love that. It's so pretty. And then um, Sampler Hill. Isn't that just pretty? Of course, of course they're behind. I, I you know, I, okay. Whatever. Okay. And then A Stitch in Time. Now I think this one may have been a new one. I'm not sure. But I think, I think this may have been the new one. So, so there you go. So there's those I got. And then one more. I saw somebody stitch this one. I, I want to say it was Pumpkin, uh, Olivia from Pumpkin Hollow, but I'm not sure. But I saw somebody stitch this on, um, on, um, on a floss tube and it is just, it's gorgeous. And so I had to have it. And I have a big thing for flowers. If you don't know if you've noticed, just about everything in here has some form of flowers in it. Not always, but some. But, but look, at the basket's just gorgeous with the flowers and the birds. So pretty. And I think that's all there is. I think it's just that one. And I think that's that's just a combination of that and the, and the cardinal. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's the only one. And I love these booklets and how they just put these together. I mean, look at that picture. Isn't that just pretty? Oh, it's so pretty. All right. All right, so now I've gotten, got some fabric. Um, more than I normally do. I think I've bought like four different things of fabric in the last 60 days. So that's, that was a lot for me. Um, these two I got from the Fat Quarter Shop. Fiber on a whim, 32 count, Tuscan. Oh my gosh, guys, isn't this gorgeous? This is gorgeous. Look at this, oh my goodness. 
things. Isn't that pretty? I don't know what it's gonna stitch on it with, but oh, I love the color. It's so pretty. Okay, and then I need more neutrals in my life, so I bought this one. And this is gorgeous because I don't like all neutrals. Some of them, I don't know. Some of them appeal to me and some of them don't. So I think it's why I don't have a lot in my, st in my stash. I have color. And so I'm, it's one of the things I'm hoping for when I go to Stitch West is to pick up more um, fabric uh, neutrals. But All we'll right, see. So, cause last I picked year, this up over at the Silver Needle and I don't remember when. It was, I want to say it was probably May or June or something. But isn't that really neat? It's white and pink stripes. Um, it's 28 count and it's an 18 by 20 piece. It was only $15 and I don't, see it's got something on the back of it. Maybe you'll tell me what the name of it is. Fabricflare.com, pink Parisian stripes. Well, that explains why I like it. Okay, so that's all I know. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe I'll hold that up so you guys can see. Yeah, can you read that? Pink Parisian stripes. And then there's the... Mm. I can't see if you're seeing it, because I can't see around it, but yeah. But that's all I know about it, so maybe you're familiar with it or not, I don't know. I've just never seen it before, but I just thought it was so pretty. I had to have it in one of those situations, so. So anyway, I think my coffee's getting cold. Okay, all right, so last two things. I got two things of fabric. Now I do have the stickers on these still because I just West. recently got them. Yes, I'm going to yeah. take this with me and um, I got to make sure I have some really good lighting when I go because this is 40 count. Picture this plus. So and awesome. I do you know what I, I do. Like and I got it to go um, for the uh, plus two friends that I'm going to start. I know a lot of people have done that kind of thing, started these things when they go to cross stitch retreat and now it's my turn to do it and I got the threads to go with it and it was more than I thought it was going to be but it's still good aren't they pretty though I think it's gonna be so pretty it's not the called for fabric that goes with it but I think it's gonna work just the same I don't know if you can see set that aside this one didn't have very many threads this one, where did I put the paper? Oh my goodness. Okay, give me a minute here. I gotta figure out what happened to my paper. I think it may have fell off my table. Oh, it's good to grief. Okay, hold on a second now. Yes, it fell off. Give me a minute. <laughs> Ow. Nothing like banging your head. <laughs> that was fun. Okay. Alrighty. Um, pumpkins for sale. Like I said, I should stop the video and just redo it. But you know what? I would never get one up if I did that stuff. And, you know, I wouldn't be being me. <laughs> if I showed you a, a perfectly ran video of a perfectly ran me. Because I'm total... So this is a gal, I don't, I think she's Italian. She's an Italian designer. Her name is Alana. I don't know how to say that. Let's All right, all right. So and anyway, this is, um, and maybe we'll edit that part out. This is 36 count eggshell and it's a fat quarter piece and that is what I'm going to use for this one and I think I might start this one um, this week but I don't think I'm going to take it take it to stitch west with me I don't want to take too many but I definitely don't want to take like one or two because then I'll get there like last year and wish I brought you know a little more because then I felt the need to like, talk more than I should have talked, so. Yeah. Okay. And I have 
a couple more, just one other thing I thought I would show you. I don't know if you're interested in it. I know thought I would show you this because I was excited about it. My mom had got me started. She had mentioned, she's like, oh, you know, I need a new Bible, yada, yada. And she, so she didn't tell me first the one that she wanted. She just said, oh, I just need a new Bible. And I was like, okay, well, she likes to write. She does a lot of journaling. So I'll get her a journal out. And so I pick one out and I send it to her. And then she's like, oh, this is the one I wanted. And it's this um, one that's a little more old fashioned, but it's very beautiful. It's hardback, it's, you know, it's just gorgeous. It's got um, black and white sketched drawings in there. And it was done by a particular artist and it has, it talks about the artist who did the drawings. And so, cause my mom, she's, she doesn't think of herself as an artist, but she really is. She can draw like nobody's business. She can, she can look at something and almost draw it so well that it looks like she traced it over the top, you know, and especially people. She's really good at drawing people, which is something I cannot do. I'm not good at that, but she is. And she journals and, and writes and all those things. So, um, so she wanted this Bible, so I sent that one to her, and then I sent her the journal Bible, and she's like, oh, you know, I don't know if I can get used to this. It's weird to write in the Bible. And then she's like, okay, I'm gonna use this journal Bible. And then a couple days later, she's like, you know, I really like this journal Bible. So she's, she's like texting me back going, oh my God, I really love this Bible. <laughs> she tells me how every time I talk to her, she's telling me how she really loves this Bible. So. So then I start looking, and as I'm looking through the Bible, it's picking out one for her. Um, of course, she tells me too. She's like, oh, I know we have to get one for my niece. And I'm like, okay, I'll send her one at Christmas. But anyway, she's really excited about the journal Bible. So as I was looking through the Bibles, I found this one for myself because I wasn't looking for a Bible, but once I saw it, I was like, oh, I gotta have it. And then I got it, I'm like, oh, I don't like the fact that they say St. Luke, St. March, St. Mark. It almost feels like it's a Catholic Bible, but my son's like, you know, we're all saints. And I was like, yeah, I guess so. But it's too late now, because I already went through there and kind of scratched it up. But I found this creative Bible, look at this. You can color in it. <laughs> it's a creative coloring Bible. But see, look what I did. I scratched out the saints. So then I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should just get another one because I'm, you know, perfectionist and I want everything to be perfect. And I'm like, oh, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to live with it. I'm just going to live with it. And I can teach myself not to do these stupid things again. But it, it's a journal Bible. See, you got the edges to write on. But then you have... Um, it's sticking there you have these pages to color isn't that great I love that I love this and so I gotta stick this where um because I have several Bibles now because I I, well, I love the Bible and so I have several and I just I just like oh I love this so a Bible that I can color in <laughs> it's so awesome but I got that what's well, a terrible thing though is I saw it on Amazon and I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, so then I go over to uh, Mardell. I see it there, and it just didn't occur to me that it was cheaper on Amazon. So I ended up paying way too much over at Mardell. So it's another reason why I was like, I could donate the Bible, go get another one that's perfect. But then I thought, uh, no, I done messed it up, but it's okay, it's okay, it'll be good. Cause I done paid too much for it, but. Anyway, they had this one over at Mardell, and I have several color books, and I have several. So this is my newest color book, and I don't know if you guys like to color. Anybody out there that really loves to color? I don't know. I love to color. I'm just, I've always colored coloring books ever since I was a little girl, and so I, I love it. Yeah. I was the little girl that had, I had all the big old box of Crayolas. I don't know. I should show you some of them. It is really cool. That was the beehive. Well, that was what got me to get was the beehive one. But look at this one. Look at these guys. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Look at that. See? Isn't that beautiful? So anyway, 
I always had the big box of Crayolas. I had stacks of coloring books and all kinds of stuff. And now I don't do Crayolas anymore, but I did get some more pencils and so I've already opened them up, but I thought I'd show you guys because I don't know if any of you guys do it too. And I still have room for more. So there's all my Prismas. And I found that you can get two. I got this because I was running out of room, so I was sticking them inside cups and letting them hold up, and then I just went and got something and put them in there. So see, I got two in there. I still have room to add more. So, and these are, I guess Prismas are wax, and um, there are other, there's like two other brands of colored pencils that are like oil and those kinds of things, and I haven't worked with those, but uh, maybe at some point I will, because I want to learn how to do more than just color, because that's all I've done. I've got, like I said, I've got several of those, and then, um, and I don't know if you guys do any of that, so I just thought I'd put that out there to see if, you know, I don't know who's going to watch my video at first, so I probably won't get, like, a lot of comments, but as I put more videos out, maybe people will come back and watch this one and um, see this part again, and then maybe they'll respond then. But I might bring it up again to later on, keep throwing it out there to see, you know, if anybody else does it. Because if it is, then maybe I'll talk more about that too, because, you know, I, I like I said, I've always done that. And um, my mom was always the artist She's that, that drew, she drew, she's just pencil drawings. She does a lot of, she did a little bit of oil work, but she was mostly just, pencil drawing and she's so so good at it and um but me I just I was like like a I free I just freehand like toll painting you know I just take the brush and just paint it out and I used to um I used to paint on clay pots and wood and places like things like that and and sell it at craft shows when my son was just a little boy and when I was you know younger I always like you know played with paints and watercolors mostly. Um, not as good at all of that as I am like at the cross stitch and things. And I think if I was to like lay it all out as to what I really wanted to do, yeah, cross stitch definitely wins like hands down right away. I am a cross stitcher for sure. And then, and then quilting a little and definitely coloring. I love I love coloring so but that's me and that is um that's it we're finally Thank here guys for hanging out with me today and enjoying my chitter chatter and seeing the things that um, I'm working on and the things I like and um, I think as I begin to do more videos I will try to um, get it a little bit more organized and um, try to get that time down because I don't really want to be somebody who does two hour videos. Not that anybody who does them, um, that it's wrong. I just don't want to do that because I have to sit through all the editing and listen to myself and see my face and if I see my eye and my face and my saggy jowls and all that too much, I probably will just delete the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially when my smile gets too big because I scrooge up my eyes. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so anyway, um, thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you'll come back and visit me again when I release another video. And I don't know when that'll be, but hopefully within a couple weeks. Definitely, I will have a video on my um, time in Salt Lake during um, Stitch West. So it'll probably be when I come back. But if you want to see a little bit as what I'm doing in the moment, you can follow me on Instagram. Um, just forewarn you though, in my stories, I do share a lot about Jesus. So if that's something you can't handle, you don't need to follow. And, and I'm not offended if you don't. It's, it's okay. But I will tell you, I do share a lot about Jesus in my, in my Insta stories now. But I also share other things as well. So you're welcome to come follow me over there if you would like. Um, 
yeah so until next time happy stitching y'all